amateur game developer Day of Fire would like to know, approximately how long did the game's development take and how many departments did you have working on it? Uh, we have a design team. We also have uh, our programming team, um, obviously responsible for the, the gameplay programmers rather than the engine side. Uh, and then we have our art team and they're responsible for everything from building characters to building worlds, doing all of the two, 2D graphics that players will see as they're playing the game. So there's a lot of people involved, probably for us, um, you know, bigger than, than we normally would have, around about 30 people on the team. Alku Toa Brahi asks, will we be able to play as the Paraka as well as the Toa? Uh, something that, that we were trying to obviously keep under wraps um, was the, 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 the cool unlockables within the game. But yeah, we, we are actually going to allow the players to play as the Paraka because they're, they're, they're too cool not to play, basically. You know, the, the new Toa are, are amazing, but the new Paraka are also just as amazing. And we can't have them in the game as bosses and not let the player play them. Dash Toa of Storms asks, will the gameplay be similar to the LEGO Star Wars game? Uh, LEGO Star Wars has been a, a phenomenal success for, for Traveller's Tales. And, you know, we've looked at what made that game so successful. And what we've tried to do with Bionicle Heroes is incorporate elements that, that will cross between the two brands to, to ensure that, that people that, if they've played one game, they'll play Bionicle Heroes and they will recognize the similarities but they're at the same time getting a unique game experience because obviously Bionicle is, is a unique brand and it deserves its own unique blend of gameplay. But you know, correctly you know, stated, we have learned lessons from, from Lego Star Wars in terms of, of catching a, an entire generation of gamers, not just one particular age range. And, and Lego Star Wars and Bionicle Heroes both achieve that. The next question is from Tahu Nuva 3.0, who asks, are you able to change characters during play? It looks like it in the trailer. One key thing that, that we, we had to do in the game was ensure that the, the sheer number of characters in the Barnacle universe was, was carried through into the game. And rather than, than, than making the player play, you know, maybe as Jala or maybe as Matoro, you know, giving them the option to play as all of the, the, the Toa, uh, the, the new 2006 Toa. And as such, we do let the player play as all six Toa, but it's not um, a, a choice that they have to make. They get to play all six all the time. And that's where the, uh, the masks come into play. And then it's down to the player to, to search the levels for the Toa masks. They then get to play as that Toa and get to use their special powers and abilities. <laughs> Algernon asks, Bionicle is set in an elaborate world. What particular factors of Bionicle are you trying hardest to capture? Bionicle is indeed set in an elaborate world. Um, what we're actually trying to, to capture with Bionicle Heroes is, is the magic of the characters. Um, if, if, if you look at any of the, the Bionicle branding and movies, um, a lot of the background is, is pretty sort of plain and the, the focus is on the characters. The characters is, is what makes the brand so successful. So what we tried to do in the game and, and, and successfully so is, is make sure that the characters are center stage. The player's characters are always clearly visible. We have cutscenes within the game that introduce all of the cool characters as, as the player meets them. And it's all about the characters. What we've also done then is made our backgrounds really stand out. And, and, and when, when you play the game, you'll see there's, there's geometry, there's architecture, you know, there's just imagery of all these various characters from the five years of Barnacle embedded, you know, you've rocks shaped like Paraka heads, you've got um, huge sort of, you know, monolithic sort of structures that look like Varki. And it's all really to tie in the fact that, that it's not just an island, but Voyanui is a Bionicle island, a magical Bionicle island. 